Welcome to the Effortless English Show with the world's number one English teacher, A.J. Hogue, where A.J.'s more than 40 million students worldwide finally learn English once and for all without the boring textbooks, classrooms, and grammar drills. Here's A.J. with a quick piece to help you learn to speak fluent English effortlessly. Hi, I'm A.J. Hogue, the director of Effortless English. Welcome. Now in this video, let's talk about a common problem. The boredom of textbooks. Textbooks are boring. If there's nothing else wrong with them, we all at least can agree that they are boring. Now, unfortunately, the methods used in textbooks, as you know, it's one of our rules, by the way, the methods used in textbooks simply are not effective. Long vocabulary list that you try to memorize, it doesn't work. You forget most of that stuff and you don't know how to use it in real English. Boring, fake dialogues and conversations, ugh. memorizing all these rules about grammar. We know all this stuff doesn't work. But in addition to not working, textbooks are also quite boring, right? It's just, it's no fun to go through textbooks and drills and exercises and workbooks. Ugh. It's a horrible way to learn English. No fun at all. So one of the simplest, easiest, and most enjoyable methods for improving your English, your speaking, and especially your vocabulary, is simply to use audiobooks. This is something I discuss all the time, but I like to repeat it a lot because it's so important and so simple and so easy and so cheap. It's just such a great way to improve your English, a way that you can actually enjoy Something you can do while you're going for a walk, or on your way to work or school or coming home, or cooking in the kitchen. You can do this anywhere, anytime. So, so how specifically should you use audiobooks and what are the benefits? Let's talk about the benefits of audiobooks first. The single best way to improve your vocabulary is to read books, in English of course. Reading books has been shown in a lot of research, research done by Stephen Krashen and others, that the number one way to improve your vocabulary, to, to learn more words, to learn them faster, and to actually be able to use them, is to read books. Now, what kind of book should you read? Not textbooks. We've already discussed. Those don't really help you. Interesting books for you. Novels, especially. A novel is a longer book. Now, you can read storybooks, fiction books, novels, if you want to. You know, a book by Stephen King, for example, a scary book, if you like that. I recommend the Hardy Boys books or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, or it doesn't matter. Pick what you like is the point. Or you can read nonfiction books. I don't read much fiction anymore, but I love to read nonfiction. In other words, I like to read books about different topics that I want to learn about. Some of the topics that I enjoy personally are astronomy. I love reading about astronomy and science. I find it quite interesting. Uh, sometimes I like reading about history, especially if I'm traveling to a country. I want to read about the country's history. Um, I like reading about, you know, business because I own a business. I, of course, read a lot about teaching techniques. I read a lot about psychology. Those are my interests and that's what I read a lot of. I read lots of books, books, not little articles, full books about those topics. So what kind of book should you read? You should read a book about a topic that's interesting to you. So if you love romance stories, then read romance books. If you don't like fiction, if you prefer nonfiction like me, fine, read books about topics that you enjoy. So if you love cooking, then read books about cooking. You could read one of Anthony Bourdain's books, for example. He's the host of a cooking show on CNN or a, a food show, a food and travel show, in fact. He's got several books in English. Read his books. Now, books are a great way to learn vocabulary, as I said, the best way. But audiobooks are even better, especially when you combine the two. If you can get the book plus the audiobook, then you can read 
and listen at the same time. That's the most powerful way. Why is that more powerful? Well, because when you just read a book, of course you're learning vocabulary. It's fantastic. Nothing wrong with it. I'm not telling you not to read. Reading is great. But there is one little weakness with reading, and that is you don't know how to pronounce new words. And in general, you're not getting any kind of pronunciation practice or training when you're just reading, right? You're reading it, and in your mind, you're using your own pronunciation. That's okay when you read in your own language, but when you're reading in English, that can be a slight problem. That's why an audiobook is so helpful, because you're still getting the vocabulary as you would from normal reading. And by reading, by seeing the words, it's easier to understand, of course, and you can use a dictionary if you need to to find new words. Usually not necessary. But by listening to the audio also, you also are learning pronunciation. When you find a new word, you hear exactly how it should be pronounced. More than that, you're hearing how phrases are pronounced naturally by a native speaker. You're hearing how sentences are pronounced. You're getting a deep training in pronunciation and listening by listening to an audiobook. So combining the two, the vocabulary power of reading and the pronunciation and speaking and listening power of audiobooks is a fantastic method. And of course, this is so much more fun than a textbook. You make it fun by choosing the right books. Don't choose a book because I like it. I like astronomy, maybe you don't. So don't read books about astronomy. I recommend the Hardy Boys books as easy novels. Maybe you don't like that kind of story. Fine, you should choose the book is the, port the important part, okay? It's the key thing. It's got to be interesting to you. The topic or the story must be interesting to you. That's why I can't tell you exactly what to read because I don't know exactly what you like, what you're interested in. The more you are interested in the book, in the topic, the more you will enjoy it, the more you will want to listen to it, and therefore, the faster you will learn. You'll get a bigger benefit. One more point. Choose easy books in the beginning. It's better to read and listen to something that is easier instead of something that's more difficult. If it's fairly easy, you probably won't need a dictionary. You can just guess the meaning of new words. If it's too difficult, then you're going to need a dictionary. You'll be circling lots of words, and it's going to be a lot less fun and actually less effective. So start with fairly easy books. You might start with books that are for children, even. American children or British children. So, for example, if you were interested in astronomy, don't start with a book by Stephen Hawking, the PhD in physics. Instead, start with some astronomy books that are written for children and read those. You're still getting great vocabulary. Hopefully, you can find an audio and you can listen too. When those become super easy, then get some astronomy books for, you know, youth, middle school age, something like that. Read a lot of those, listen to a lot of those. When those become very easy, then you can jump up to more of the high school or adult level. Very important. Now, finally, my book is published, Effortless English, Learn to Speak English Like a Native. You can buy it now on Amazon.com. Any Amazon internationally. So just search on Amazon for Effortless English by A.J. Hogue. Good news is I did record an audiobook version so that you can use my book to read and listen at the same time. The audiobook is coming very soon, almost finished. I already recorded it. We're making a website where you can buy the audiobook. It will be ready very, very soon. So you can get the book now on Amazon, and the audiobook is coming very soon. I'll send you an email in one or two weeks about how and where to get the audiobook. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye for now.